Um, I'm going to show a couple of things with the texturing here on the, on the PC version I can break in. And again, this is all, this is actually one of our, our environments from Rage. So there's, it's not like a typical tech demo where we're just showing you something cool. I can actually, you know, get in here, switch, switch it from the AI, take over, start driving, knock that guy around. And at any time, I can actually uh, switch back and let the AI take control here. I can go back to the looping camera, but it's not just a, a video or, or a demo here. And if I switch around to a couple of these different views, uh, this, for instance, two of our goals when you know Tim Willits and and the other designers were talking about what we wanted to accomplish, it's always done the indoor environments really well. We like doing that level of detail that you've seen in our games, and it's a big deal to us, and we we're going to maintain that. Um, but the reason we chose this environment is because it's something a little different, but we still managed to get this kind of large scale detail you see here with giant cliff faces and boulders. And, uh, you know, you don't see a lot of uh, procedural stuff, although we could use that if it made sense. But you can go from these giant boulders all the way down to a pebble level, basically. It, it's really, it gives the art, artist, uh, you know, enough freedom where you won't be embarrassed if the player hops out of his vehicle and wants to walk around. Because a lot of the things we're planning in Rage actually call for that, that level of detail. So all of this, like these bones, and, and I'll show you in the tools, how we kind of get to this level of detail. And again, here you can see a lot of large scale de detail, uh, giant boulders, stuff you would expect in a, in, a, in a modern racing game when you're zooming by. But the thing you wouldn't expect is you can actually get out and you know go right down to the, to the pedal level again. And this, this entire terrain, even though you know, we've chose a setting, it's, it, it's basically a, a desert, canyony kind of valley. If we wanted, because of the way John set up the mega texturing, every single pixel can be truly unique. So if we wanted to go from a desert to an oasis to a snow-capped mountain to a lava-filled volcano, it doesn't matter. The artists are literally tasked with making great art instead of in the past worrying about how many new textures they can introduce. And I know that the, the alarm bells are going off. How in the world could anybody texture a world this big? But again, the tools uh, that I'll follow up with kind of show you how we do that. And of course we still have all the nifty effects, like here's a little depth of field I like to show off. And you can kind of see the detail that we have in some of these cactuses and foliage. And there's actually a lot, if you pay attention around this track, I think we have a hundred or so actually 3D fully you know, animated uh, models here with, with a lot of interesting detail. And of course, all the fog. And I'll show some other really cool post-processing effects that, that are giving us, a, a, I think, a leg up visually. Again, all the vehicles. This is actually AI driving around this track. They do that thing pretty well. Switch between those. Okay, now here I am. And again, I'm popping around here for the sake of the demo, but the player could just drive a car and get out anywhere and, and explore the world, basically. And that, that's the, I think that's the biggest thing that's driving us right now is uh, it's just that ability to, to have the vehicle kind of be your avatar and then you're able to drive anywhere, see something off in the distance that looks kind of cool, drive up, get out the car, and then walk around and still have these kind of extremely detailed indoor environments. I decided to throw the vendor in here. And if you see, if I, if I zoom in really close here, you can see it, it's what you would expect out of an id game. All the detail that we would normally have with our characters. We're not getting rid of that. We're not, we're not totally, you know, departing from what we normally do. We're just adding on top a lot of, a lot of different, uh, you know, cool elements. The one thing this game will never do is get stale. I guarantee you that. So again, like I was mentioning before, it's really not very good having the ability to, to completely, uh, uniquely texture an entire world. And again, th this, uh, this track actually uses a 64 by 64K landscape texture, but uh, some of our, our wastelands are actually 128 by 28, so that's like four of these uh, you know, combined together. And the, the actual physical distance that you get to travel with all the roads and walking up tiny little paths, is, 
it's, it's actually a challenge for us to take advantage of that much space to add the gameplay, but it, it's, it's turning out pretty well so far. So again, you know, having the ability to do it is one thing, but having the tools to take an adv uh, advantage of it is another thing. So I'm going to jump over to the tools machine and kind of show you how we get to that level of detail.